Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we solved an example based on the surface area of a combination of solids. Today in this video, we will see another example based on the area of a combination of solids. The length of a pencil is 23 centimeters and the radius is 3 centimeters and the height of the conical part of the pencil is 4 centimeters. Now can you find what will be the curved surface area of the pencil? To solve the question, pause the video and then match your answer. By looking at the pencil, we cannot tell which figure it is. But if we look at the figure carefully, we can say that its front part is a cone, middle part is a cylinder and the lower part is a hemisphere. Where the height of the conical part of the pencil is 4 cm, radius is 3 cm, the length of the cylinder is 16 cm and the radius of the hemisphere is 3 cm. Thus we can say that this entire figure is made up of a combination of three figures. Now if we sum the curved surface area of these three figures, then we will get the curved surface area of the pencil. We know the height and the radius of the cone, but for the surface area, we need to find the measurement of the slant height L of the cone. So, can you tell what will be the slant height of the cone? We can find the slant height of the cone with this formula, which we get as 5 cm. By substituting the value of the radius R, the height H and the slant height L in this formula and upon solving, the curved surface area of the figure is obtained as 405.42 square centimeters. So we can say that the curved surface area of the pencil is 405.42 square centimeters. In this video, we saw an example based on the area of solid shapes. 